answer. Okay, that's not right. Today, first March, guys, is actually the day of what? First March is actually the day of income tax filing. You guys remember that? Do you guys remember that income tax filing? Yes, there is something called an income tax filing. Okay, I hope you guys remember that because there is that day. But before we go to an income tax filing and all that, uh, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, let's see it. Bitcoin, well, it has rebounded. It went close to our support yesterday of 42.5. Uh, I think this was near like, this is very close. This is like 43, right? Uh, Ethereum has also rebounded. I mean, Ethereum has become like the most hated currency in the entire universe, uh, cryptocurrency in the entire universe because the gas fees are so expensive. But, but it has gone down, okay? So, so we're glad it has gone down, okay? So people on YouTube, people on uh, here on, on our Zoom, uh, yeah, the good time is here because Ethereum has gone down. Now let's see what's, what the support happened. Yeah, so it rebounded almost near there, right? 43.05, well, I just said that it will try to test 42.05. Very close, very close. So you see now Bitcoin likes levels. If you can find those levels, you'll pretty get near to support. Again, I still don't like this. You know, I mean, some of you are turning Bitcoin lovers. I'm not a hater. I still don't like this. I still need to see around 37%, as I've said, which I will gladly put in a limit order, or I need it to see, uh, yeah, yeah, something below 40, yeah, 40, because it hasn't hit my my support of 42.5. So I expect it to for it to retest again. But man. Ethereum, is it out of the doldrums? that see, look at that, man. It has been battered. And thank God for that because now the gas fees are low. I can finally unstake my mantra DAO. Okay, I've been staking it forever. Uh, it's worth like 3,000 now. Uh, I got in at 1,385. It's worth like 3,300 now. I, it's a struggle to even unstake it you know, get it out. It's like one second that getting it out of a bank. So I put it in a bank. Again, I bought this mantra DAO for 1385 I put it in a bank. Let's say it's a bank called mantra DAO. To get it out of a bank, like two weeks ago, it cost me $2,500. I mean, what is that? That doesn't make sense. Today, it will only cost me $40. $40 so that's, that's good, you know, but I don't like number four, right? So I'm just waiting for it to go to 39, then I'll take it out. So Ethereum seems, did it find its bottom here just below 1,300? 1,300, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in my show, yeah. Uh, so it's going up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good, it's going up here. Uh, I don't know where it goes to again. I am still expecting it to challenge this line and I'm not happy about it, okay? It's good that, that it's here, right? It's good that it's here. It's good that, 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 that it's here. So this is kind of cool, man. This is super duper cool uh, that, that it's still there. So let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. You guys know our this, right? You guys know our... Uh, yeah, Nam, man. You guys have been buying... Have, uh, yeah, have you guys been buying Nam, man? You guys are bad. You guys are bad. You guys have been buying Nam. You guys have been pushing this, okay? So I have to make a self-declaration today. I'm not in Ethereum. I had a buy order. Uh, I had a buy order at 1325, which wasn't triggered. Man, I just missed that. Uh, wow, I just missed that. I have a, I have a, I am in NEM. Uh, I am in since 18 cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not shilling this. Uh, am I thinking of adding in more? Probably. Uh, let's see, where are we going in here? Uh, okay, so this is good, 64. I think it's going to challenge this. And then the next logical level is a dollar, right? 90 to a dollar. Uh, where is this? This is in Binance. So uh, I like NAM because it's still far away from uh, 165. Is it 165 or 187? I think it's 187. Sorry for that. Yeah, it's like 187. So it's still far away from that. And there is the symbol coming, like symbol uh, airdrop coming. That will be on March 12th. So uh, yeah, that's, that's good, right? That is cool for me, right? So again, uh, it's good that our cryptocurrencies look very, very good. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome, okay? Cryptocurrencies are awesome. So next, 
What do we do next? Now, why did I say trading will lose your pants? Be careful, guys. You traders out there, I want you to be careful. I hope you realize that today, 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 March 1st, you can start filing your taxes. And I'm going to talk about taxes tonight. Why you traders could be in trouble. Again, look at this. 2021 target, 144 billion. That's huge. Guys, that's huge. What does this mean? Let me, let me read this first, okay? RBC, oh, a direct tax collection of 143.9 billion is expected to be achievable. That means it is achievable. What does this mean? That means after a low year, they have put in a target and achievable means they are going to meet the target by hook or by crook. They are very good at this. Now, I know some of you guys, uh, you know, if you guys, hey, I'm going to warn you. If you guys are playing hide and seek with the income tax department, I'm going to refer to Malaysia. We're going to look to, for some other countries also. I want you guys to be very, very careful. Again, you do not want to be, guys, you do not want to be called by your income tax department, right? I'm simple, guys. I mean, people are saying like, hey, why, why, why are you so happy that income tax uh, season? I said, guys, I have been caught. I have been put in jail. You know, I was kind of jail, not jail, jail. Lah. I was kind of put in an audit by, by income tax. They're like jail, right? So I just gotten out of jail. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to worry. Now, you guys that are running away, you guys might want to worry because in the process of trading to become a millionaire, you should have a target to be a millionaire. You do not want these guys to come and knock on your door, okay? So this is a high number. I'm just telling you, they will find a way to get it. Now, here's the deal. If you go in early before the deadline, they might forgive you for all your past sins. If you go after the deadline where they can catch you, I don't know, okay? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Roy asking, NEM symbol airdrop. Yes, NEM is uh, March 12th. No, you're wrong, uh, Roy. That's not accurate. I think you got it confused with Litecoin. Litecoin is the end of quarter one, but we do not know when. I don't know when. You got you to read Twitter, man. You got to read Twitter every day. Okay, just read the Litecoin Twitter or Flare. This is a Flare Networks Twitter. It will be there, okay? So, income tax. So, let's look at some other fun income tax thing. You traders, man. You traders. Now, having said that, I think uh, me buying NAM, right? Again, me buying NAM at 19, 18 cents, now at 60 cents, that is not a trade. That is a hodl. Me getting symbol as a dividend on NAM is probably taxable so it doesn't matter okay i have been caught i'm just declaring that okay i'm i am a good taxpayer guys i am a good taxpayer let's see some tax news oh look at that i'm we're gonna go to some tax news here bitcoin investors to escape gain tax yes uh cryptocurrency yo look at this guys active cryptocurrency traders not spared from income tax this is our in inland revenue board crypto briefing top 15 crypto friendly tax havens you want to hear this do you guys want to do this? Okay, let's do this. I know you guys are now uh, thinking of, oh, maybe I should go to those countries. Okay, let's see those countries, guys. Let's see how they treat it, okay? So these are the countries that are tax havens. Barbados. Where is that? Barbados. Okay, that's too far. Let's go down. I guess in Barbados. Charles Hoskins is in Barbados? Oh, man. He's going to Barbados to talk about education, okay? Belarus. Okay. If, if I want to go to Europe, I, I, I'd put myself in Belarus, okay? Yeah, Belarus is fine. Bermuda, just don't get lost in the Bermuda Triangle when you go there, okay? Yeah, that, that's cool. British Virgin Islands, I don't know where that is, or Cayman Islands, yeah, I've heard of that. So you guys can stay there if you want to, but that, I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of social activity there. That's no fun. Let's go down. Germany, I'm surprised. So Germany, look. You do not have to pay any taxes on gains you make with investments in Bitcoin if held for more than a year. That's okay because next year there's still going to be a bull run right? we can hold, right? But look at this. If you sell your Bitcoin or fiat money or exchange, within a year, there's still an exemption of up to 600 euros, okay? 
okay, that that's cool. But if but under a year, you must be reported for income for tax filing. So do you see this? If you hodl, if you hold, it is okay. If you sell, no good. Hong Kong, wow, Hong Kong is good. Not taxable, quite similar to Malta, global finance. But you know, Hong Kong, there is just too much activity going on in Hong Kong. No, no capital gain tax to crypto investment. Aha, uh -huh. that is interesting. That is interesting. But you know, uh, Hong Kong, we, uh, yeah, you guys can go there. I am not going to Hong Kong, okay? You know why? I, I don't want to tell you. Malaysia, Malaysia, look at this. I'm going to give you something on Malaysia, okay? Malaysia's treatment of cryptocurrency taxation is very similar to Singapore. Uh -huh. uh, let's see this. This is very similar to Singapore. Cool. Now let's, let's go and see Singapore afterwards. I'm, I'm, I'm helping you guys make a choice, okay? There are no capital taxes in Malaysia. So this is enticing, right? Clarified that cryptocurrency profits are only taxable is earned to trading active. Guys, are you guys trading? Are you guys trading? Because if you guys are trading on crypto exchanges, bang, you are going to get it. There is no provision for taxing cryptocurrency transactions under the GST Act. But look at this. There have been talks about making a change. That means your income tax department in Malaysia is talking about making a change to capital gains. Do you understand that? It's come out in the news. Bang, bang you might get hit. Do you get me? You might get hit, okay? So it's not easy for them to put in this law, but I believe this law may be coming because the CEO of Income Tax, LHDNM, has already said so. Malta, do you guys want to go to Malta? Yeah, Malta is a blockchain island and Binance operates out of Malta. So this is probably one of the best, actually. You guys can look at Malta, but I want to look at... No, I don't look at Portugal. Okay, you guys can look at Puerto Rico. Uh, Switzerland. Can we afford Switzerland? Slovenia. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. But Singapore. I want to talk about Singapore now. Our taxes in Singapore are desirable if you are a long-term investor in all assets, including cryptocurrency. Cool. Capital gains taxes in Singapore are not applied to all assets. Ah, cryptocurrencies are also exempt from the standard 7% tax under the GST system, okay? Look at this again. In April 2020, Singapore's Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore published an e-tax guide that clarified short-term crypto profits. Again, guys, can you see this? Trading activity tax as ordinary income. Progressive tax rate uh, is 0% up to to 20,000 and ends at 22%, okay? Malaysia, I believe it ends at 25%. So Singapore is kind of lower than us. But in Singapore, I have not seen this uh, suggestion, okay? Or provision, provision to like introduce uh, capital gains tax. In Malaysia, I have seen it. Look, one of the most affluent and crypto-friendly countries in the world. Largest bank launching STO, no cap gains tax. Home to large fund and market makers. Trading digital payment tokens, exempt from 7% goods and services tax. That's cool. Look at everyone that's here. KuCoin is here. BitMax is here. Which is not good, right? Because BitMax has some of the best tokens, but we, we, we can't go in an IDO on BitMax. Upsets me. You guys know, you guys want to go to Seychelles? I don't know what Seychelles is. Hey, but look at this. This is entirely free of tracks. Do you guys know what Seychelles is? I don't know what Seychelles is, but yeah. Entirely free of tax, right? I don't know, man. Uh, home to BitMEX. Okay, tax haven. Through crypto trading is entirely free of tax. Yeah, I think the best here is actually this, but I think that, that you might have problems on uh, this, on infrastructure and all that, but yeah. Look, Seychelles is cool. If you guys want to stay there, you guys have friends in Seychelles, right? But yeah, but looking at this, I think Singapore is, is probably one of the best. Malaysia is good, but there have been talks. Guys, I hate it when there have been talks, you know? It's like, uh, I see our income tax here uh, trying to uh, collect 144 billion. I see talks of possible capital gains, gains tax. It is not confirmed but that guys has me 
worried. So guys, I'm going to tell you again. I have been caught. Yay! <laughs> I have been to jail. Okay? I am okay. You, what about you? You, you, yeah. You in the picture there. Yes, you. You, you, you better be careful. Okay? Again, I'm going to tell you again. Before they come for you, before the income tax season closes, you go there and say, Sir, I surrender. I come in peace. I have some gifts for you. You are going to be treated very, very well. Guys, I know income tax. I sold a lot of systems to them, guys, when I was in a company called SaaS, okay? They're very nice people, okay? But after the season closes, guys, don't blame me if they turn like Hulk and Green and then you get a call. Who's here? Like, what? 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 Is this Mr. Wong Suhaibi? Oh, boy. Dude, you just got to be careful, okay? I'm just going to tell you up front because we do not want people to come between us and all this, right? But look at this, right? Uh, again, this is for uh, Malaysians. Again, Malaysians, just be careful, okay? Uh, what did they say? Uh, no, they didn't say anything here. So everything, everyone is confused, right? So look at this. They know, guys, they know that this guys, let, let's be real. A 300% gains may not may not be taxable. Do you think? Do you think for how long will this not be taxable? Okay, that is not gonna be real. Okay, seriously, guys, seriously. So again, would be tax. Yeah, this was this is the same thing, right? So please look at this very carefully. Look at this, but uh I saw something there. Now, let's go to the USA, okay? Because you guys are also saying, hey, I'm from the USA. I'm in the USA. Okay, let's, let's go look in, in the USA. You guys think you're safe in the USA, right? Look, guys, in the USA, there is, a you know, a, people were surprised that suddenly there is a section on, like, what? You have to report digital currency trades, right? You have to report it, right? You have to report it, right? Yeah, look at that. For the first time, it's asking about virtual currency transaction on first page of its main income tax form. This has not happened to Malaysia yet. It has already happened in the US. People do not know how to respond. It can be good, it can be bad, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. So again, uh, Yellen may not be big on Bitcoin, a point she reiterated recently. This doesn't mean Yellen and the department she leads, which includes the Internal Revenue Service, don't care about cryptocurrency. It is tax filing season there too. And look at this. Look at this, okay? We'll see RS is very curious about a taxpayer's cryptocurrency transaction. It has tweaked the form of 1040 or 1040, the main income tax paperwork. Have you received, sold, sent, exchanged, or otherwise acquired any financial interest in any virtual currency? Guys, guys, I, I would be bullish. Not not I'd be bullish. I'd be scared. I don't even know how to answer that. That's an issue to me. That's an issue to me, guys. I don't know how to even answer that. So you guys better be careful whatever it is. It is there. So uh, Jeff said, uh, spread betting tax-free. Wow. Wow. See, you guys need to know. Like Jeff says, yeah, in the UK, tax-free up to 100K. See, it depends on your this, right? On the regulation that's all there. I really, really uh, encourage you to, 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 to look into this. I don't know. All I know is that when they know we are making money, and they will know we are making money, right? Uh, basic, and I don't even know all this. When they know we are making money, they will come after us, right? So look at this. It's a sale at profit. Everything is within a year. Profit count as short term, then tax as ordinary income. However, in the US is different. Long-term capital gain is also taxed as income, uh, but but you know 
It's a lower, lower than five of the seven income tax bracket. Well, that's nice. That is lower than whatever income tax, right? Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'll be happy. Yeah, sure. I'm not in the high whatever bracket there is, right? Whatever bracket there is. Yeah, hodler is good. Yeah, pute. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Hodler is good. Hodler, I think you're safe for now. If you're hodler, you're cool. This is why I said, okay, I have already told you guys, right? If you're a hodler, you, you could be safe. You're, you're probably safe, okay? It looks like in every jurisdiction you are safe, be a hodler, okay? Whether you're on ADA, whether you are on uh, a polka dot and all that. Do, am I bullish on ADA? Again, my, what's my favorite answer, guys? What's my favorite answer, guys? What's my favorite answer? Oh, Helen wants me to post the link. Yeah, sure, guys. Uh, you want to, yeah, I'm, uh, Helen's from Malaysia. I'm going to post the Malaysian link, right? Be careful. I'm going to post the link here. Please go and read this, okay? Please go and read this very, very carefully, guys, because, uh, you know, I'm like, guys, I want you guys to make money, guys. You know what? Because my next, uh, my next career is actually selling islands in Langkawi, okay? I've decided that I'm going to be an agent to sell islands in Langkawi. So, guys, I do not want you to, guys, you guys to get into trouble because you know when when all this when all these things end right who am i going to sell my island to i mean if you guys <laughs> if you guys keep on yeah guy oh I, I didn't have that right guys if you guys are, are like taxed too heavily because you didn't look after your tax or you didn't manage it i mean guys come on guys no there's no free island i'm going to sell the islands to you okay? i'm going to sell the islands to you in langkawi okay my home state my home state. Yeah, you have to declare, Crystal. You have to declare. I just advise you guys, just go to the income tax. Right? Guys, you will have to file anyway. I'm just saying, you guys are going to have to file anyway, right? I mean, th this is it. Whether you're in America, I think Europe, is it? Hey, UK. Uh, where's Simon? Is it UK? <laughs> Barbados. Yeah, hey, Simon's going to Barbados, so he's okay. Uh, Jeff, where's Jeff Oliver? Yeah, Jeff Oliver is spread betting, so he's okay for the first 100K. See, those guys are already planning. Simon doesn't want to come here. Man, Simon, I thought I was selling an island to you, man. There goes my commission from one island. There goes my commission from one island, okay? So, so man, I guys, just, just, again, Crystal is like this. You are going to file income tax, right? In Malaysia, starting today, you can file through online. Now, here's what I suggest. Before you file on online, you fill everything, take the time to go to the income tax and please ask them. Just ask them, okay? Just ask them so that, and then I want you to do something. Can you take the name of the officer down? Because if anything happens to you, you just call the officer and say, Tuan, Tuan. Is that your voice? Tuan, saya dah kena panggil dengan LHCN. I've been called by income tax. And then there will be a simp, you know, you get brownie marks, like for sympathetic marks. That's what I'm just trying to tell you to do, okay? Got it, okay? And, and for the rest of you guys, you know what you do? See, Simon knows what he is. He's going to Barbados. He's going to Barbados, man. I thought he was going to she sells, right? Where's Bar I don't even know where Barbados is. I have no idea where Barbados is, okay? So, uh, okay, let's get back to crypto, guys. Let's get back to cryptos, guys. So I was asked the question, am I bullish this, right? Am I bullish on uh, this, right? Am I still bullish on uh, Cardano and this? Okay, here's, here's some news on Cardano and Polkadot, okay? Here is some news on Cardano and Polkadot. So before we go, this is what's happening, guys. Uh, let's see this, okay? Let's see this, okay? Uh, Dubai, uh, Cardano, and Polkadot. So I just told you, right? You get burned in your pocket, right? If you're not careful, guys, you are, your pocket is going to get burned. Seriously, guys, be careful. Okay, look at it. Dubai Crypto Fund sells Bitcoin to bet on Cardano and Polkadot. Isn't that cool? They are selling... Major crypto Dubai fund sells 750 million worth of BTC to buy Cardano and Polkadot. So now you now that explains why Cardano has gone up. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Uh, between DOT and ADA, I prefer both. Uh, you guys know, right? Uh, I should be posting the Sidious video. You guys know, right? Because Cardano was actually uh, 
was actually the Mentor Darcidius choice of coin, but I changed it to polka dot because there's not much action going on. But starting March 1st, yeah, this is March 1st. This is March 1st. I think they're supposed to have the smart contract ready. They already have the smart contract ready. Is it now or March 30? So F7 Ventures, there, yeah, they're going into this, like ADA, DOT, and ETH, and look at this. Okay, I want you, I want you guys to show something here before you guys get all excited and tell all your friends, your cousins, your mom, your dad, and everything. I just want you guys to see something, right? So they've kind of sold it, and, and they said they were going to get this done by March. What, what, was it this? Yeah, anyway, there was, they said they want to get this done by March. Uh, I can't find it here. But uh, yeah, there's another one where they said they want to get the buying done by March. And because of that, uh, I think these are the, this was where the buying pressure from Cardano was actually, okay? Another bullish news that I'm going to give you is this, okay? Grayscale, guys, grayscale. Let's go to grayscale, right? Grayscale up, up, yeah. Grayscale, <laughs> Simon, Simon still remembers, right? We change, uh, we, we kind of change our plan for the first uh, batch from uh, this, right? From Card uh, Ada to Cardano, because although we like Ada and Cardano, uh, Charles Hoskinson was not doing anything, right? So we can't, which, which I believe was, was the right bet. So yeah, is Cardano going to go up after this? Possible. Possible, possible, possible. Yeah, I know since that time. Yeah, it's, it's up like mad, right? Because yeah, it is the Sidious coin. I just don't like it that I don't like something up and only on the main coin. You know me, right? Because to be a millionaire, you, you need to rocket up. I don't get that rocket effect uh, with Cardano. Whereas in this season, we got it with uh, Polkadot, right? So I want more, guys. I want more for you guys, right? So look at this, right? Grayscale, the world's largest digital currency asset manager is going to launch this. It's going to be an altcoin fund. Can you guys take a picture of this? Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it on the on, on, on your, this one, right? I'm going to leave it on your, uh, this, on, on your Zoom thing, right? Is it there? Yeah, look at this. Look at these coins. These are going to be the blue chips of the crypto world, like Aave, Bat, Cardano, oh, Cardano, Link, Compound, Cosmos, Mana, EOS, Filecoin. Flow, Flow is there. My stack is going to be worth, well, it's now worth 220,000 US. I think it's going to be worth half a million US too. Flow, flow, flow. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Light Beer, MakerDAO, Monero, Numerarid. Can anyone who's naturally in English know how to pronounce this? I don't know. Numerar, numerar, numerary, numerary. I don't know. Polkadot, yeah, reserve rights, which you guys know is like a proxy for PayPal. Stacks, which is like uh, Stacks is a Bitcoin thing. Sushi Swap, my God, rival to Uniswap, rival to Uniswap. Sushi Synthetics, Tez, Tezos, the Graph, Yearn Finance. Okay, so take a picture of this. Go and study that. Okay, so all of these things, I believe, in the next round are going to move in tandem. You understand what I mean? That now the excitement in cryptocurrencies is not only about Bitcoin and Ethereum. I believe it's going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum. Cardano, Polkadot, and the rest of this gang, okay? So again, can you guys take a picture there? Take a picture there. Again, guys, and when you do this, what do you do? Think, right? I want you guys, because it's getting very exciting here. I know you guys are foaming. Make sure that when you go anywhere and when you make profits, make sure to look at your pocket down there. Yes, do you have pockets? Look at your pocket down there. Make sure you don't burn it, okay? Because somebody might knock on the door and burn it for you. So before we go, what do we do, guys? Again, the oath, right? I am possible. Hold the line. You know now that holding the line means you don't get your pocket burned. Okay, guys, bye. See you on Wednesday for another exciting session.